I also would like to show you another demonstration program which reverses string in place. The way it works is that we get our input in our input buffer, we determine the length of the input, excluding the zero terminating character. So this is our printable string. Then we set two pointers. We'll use two registers to set two pointers to the head and the tail of this string. So I plan to use registers T1 and T2 for this. And then we swap these two characters. So basically we exchange one character with another like this. And in a loop, we can increment pointer to our head character and decrement pointer to our tail character. So these two pointers shift closer to one another. And then we swap these characters again. Right, so we swap these characters. And as long as address T1 is less than address T2, we will continue our loop, continue to swap these characters in the middle. And as long as T1 is less than T2, it means that we're still looking at two different characters. As soon as they become the same or cross their paths, it means that we're all done with this work. So this is our data segment. We have the same initial setup of constants for our system call numbers. Then we have the maximum string size for our input. We have the new line character constant. We have a couple of prompts to enter a string. And then we're going to echo back and print the length of the string. And we also have the space for our input buffer. And here I call it input. And so next we have our code segment. In the code segment, we display user prompt. Then we ask user to input the string and we wait for this input, making this next call. This is our input buffer. The next stage is to determine the length of the input string. So I load the address of our input buffer. Right, so input buffer is just a reserved space. And then use this JAL instruction to invoke a procedure named string link. JAL stands for jump and link. It's another branch instruction, but what it does before transferring control to the new location, this is my label, it sets RA, return address register, dollar $RA, to the address of the next instruction. So when this procedure string link wants to return back to its caller, it will be able to jump directly by using JR instruction, which effectively returns the flow control of execution back to this line in our program. And JR stands for register. The address of return can be any register that has the correct address.